Last time on Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. I too will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Why do I get the feeling we're both stuck in the same bad dream? And now, back to objecting. Hey everyone, it's Vendonet here again, and we are here for the conclusion of Turnabout Sisters. It's been a long time coming, and a long voice in coming, but let's just get to it, the final trial. September 9th, 9.52 a.m., Mr. Court, Defendant Lobby, number one. Still out. Puffy face, Maya! Well, I guess this is it! Yeah. One way or another, this case gets decided today. Ah! Phoenix! Look! <gasps> Prosecutor Edgeworth. Governor? Governor, I received a call from the public prosecution office yesterday, Governor. Governor. He told me whatever the whatever Mr. White says today, Governor. Will be the absolute truth, Governor. No matter how how you tried to attack his testimony. If I raise an objection, I have in good faith that the judge will listen to me. What? Does the white have the judge in his pocket too? So you're gonna, you're saying I'm gonna be guilty? End of story. Mm. I will do anything to get my verdict, Mr. Wright. Anything, Governor. Why? Why, puffy face? How can you torment as a person like this? Innocent? How can we know that? The guilty will always lie to avoid being found out. There's no way to tell who's guilty and who's innocent, Governor. All I can... All I can do... All I can hope to do is get every definitive declared guilty governor so, so I make that my policy it's it's worth you've changed hmm Phoenix you know him don't expect any special treatment Phoenix right governor Phoenix well we'll be opening for sessions soon what? But wait! Your first attorney isn't even here yet! He's not! I'll be defending myself. What? Okay, let's do this! September 9th, 10 a.m. Sir Court. Room number one. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Governor? Defense is ready, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, are you sure you're up, up to doing this? Yes, Your Honor, I'll be defending myself, because every other lawyer is in the pocket of Mr. 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 White. Understood. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. Up your opening statement, please. As a detail, I'm already quite clear to the court. Today we'll be hearing the test today we'll be hearing the testimony of another witness that defendant's crime. 
Oh, I see. I see you may call its witness. That went far too smoothly. Why didn't the judge ask Edward why this, his witness didn't testify before? It's like, it's like he already knows why. Hmm, if anyone's going to raise an objection about this, I suppose it's me. <coughs> Mr. Edgeworth, you have uh, uh, access to, the, to this court. Why didn't you just witness this final trial against Miss Miss Maya Fay? Oh, oh, oh. I'm so sorry. Mr. White's a busy man, and besides, at the time I thought that Miss May's opinion was all that would be needed, Governor. Again, my sister's apologies to the court. That's so much, I appreciate I appreciate your demeanor. Great, you get to show off, and I get nowhere. I would like to call Mr. Mr. Red White to the stand, Governor. Governor, 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 Governor. Please state your full name. You wish to know the titles of my personage? Bling bling. Er, uh, your name? Yes, that's what I. Yes, that is what I said. Oh dear, Do my little case is confused. Name. These two are great together. My friend, my name is Red White. My friends call me Blanco Nino. I'm the CEO, or used to be, or to use a more common term, the president of Blue Corp. Kill the victim, Miss Maya Faye. That would be a negator. No, I did not. You were at the Gateway Hotel the night of the murder, Governor. Correct. And you, and you witnessed the murder from from there. Uh, what tell you what you already know? Very well, Mr. Wright. You may be in your testimony. If I can't rip this guy's testimony apart, I'm done for. Well, I always feel like it's the end of the world and I'm the last man standing. Ho ho ho! Green giant! Bling bling! I hope you have made your peace with God, Mr. Liar. See, it was about nine o'clock, I believe. It was quite, <coughs> it was quite, it was quietly crucifying. Er, that's reading to, to you some papers by the window. <coughs> then I heard some bedlam coming from outside. Surprised, I turned to look at the building across the way. It was then I saw him, a spiky haired man attacking a woman with long hair. I used to say that man was none other than you, Mr. Mr. Lawyer. I called him Miss... I called Miss May over at once. She too was vibrated, of course. The victim, she, she ran away, but you gave chase. Finally, there was a ter ter terrible imp impaction, and it was all over. Hmm... If if things occur as you testify, then I'm afraid the defendant is guilty. Very well, defendant. Er, I mean, Mr. Wright. Cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Details about that? 
I think it's worth knowing exactly what happened. Of course. Of course. Comprehend. <coughs> I understand. The victim was attacked by you and ran to the left. <coughs> you gave chase and struck her down. Are you sure? Bling bling. As you know, I'm always absolutely positively perfect. Perhaps you could change your testimony to reflect this new detail. Oh, wait right there. Mr. White, you dug your own grave. Oh, what's this? You see the victim ran to the left. That directly contradicts Miss May's testimony. She clearly stated the victim ran. Right. Huh? Oh, 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 oh. it's simple. You have misheard her. I think not. That is floor plan. The killer was here. The victim was here. The victim ran to the left as you claimed she did. She would have been running directly away from the door. She, she would have been running into a dead end. Don't you find that odd? Huh? Very strange. I didn't see her run to the left. I did. Phoenix, look at his face! I don't think he's lying about this one! True. Maybe he really did if he had run, run left. So he did witness the killing. Wait a second. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? Miss Ma 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 May says right and Mr. Wright says left. Mr. White says left. Can you explain this to the the court? Both are right. Both witnesses are telling the truth. For once. Ha! I doubt it. Or rather, that does not clear up the contradiction. There's one scenario that would explain their conflicting account. What? Obviously, the witness was not in the crime scene from the hotel. Mr. Wright, what do you mean? Yes. What do you mean he's not in the crime from the hotel, Gemna? If it was not in the hotel, where could he have been? In the law office of Faye and Company, of course. Specifically, he, he, he was standing here. The courtroom was right, was standing. This is where he was. Look. The victim ran to the do door. If he was watching from this point of view, to him it would appear that he ran to the left. Please, Governor, this is no time for jokes and ill taste. That is where the killer was standing, Governor. Order. I will have order. Anyone disturbing the order of this courtroom will be held in contempt. Mr. Wright, what are you suggesting? Rapscallion! Postulation of the defense or distortion of the truth, Your Honor. Sorry, sorry, the truth, Your Honor. Indeed. And do they do seem a bit far fetched? Uh, ho ho ho! I'm Santa Claus now. You provide us with so many. You said, you provide us with so much entertainment, Mr. Lawyer. What now? He's laughing. The hilarity of this moment made me made me remember something. 
It appears I had been unclear for this. I apologize. Mr. Mr. Your Honor. I might be allowed to testify once more. Very well, let us hear your revised testimony. Good luck, you can't fix a broken testimony, buddy. Miss Smith's testimony was correct, as was mine. So when you saw the girl, she first ran to the left. And then you hit her. Savagely. That's what I, that's what I saw. Next, the last of her strength, she ran to the right. You chased her and delivered a final blow. That's what Miss Smith saw. You see, you hit her twice. Do you remember? Mr. Lawyer? Mm, that does seem mm, that does seem to make sense. Will you cross examine the witness testimony? You you bet I will. I mean yes, Your Honor. Mr. White, I didn't die from a single die from a single blow. What do you say to that? Er, uh, er, uh, that's my chance to hit him where it counts. Mr. White, wasn't it you who told this court that you were absolutely pos perfect? Hmm. I will refrain from using this phrase from now, from now on. I wonder if you could, if you could ask the witness for a new testimony. Well, this is the witness is obviously confused, Governor, Your Honor, Your Honor, Governor. I would like a quick ten minute break. Yes, yes, court. The witness is confused because he's lying. I emphatically request that there be no break, Your Honor. Y yeah, I won't trust this. Don't, don't let him get away. Very well. The witness would care to advise the testimony. Because my, the crowd's on my side. Don't slip me out of this. This now, White. Mr. White. Uh, uh okay. Accounts. Um, well, see, I looked the other uh, the window and I heard that thing fall. Then the next moment, I saw Mr. Miss Mia run to the left. The killer, you, you att attacked her, but she dodged. Um, and then she turned and ran for the door. Then you, then you did her in with the single blow. Thwap! Hmm. Th hmm. Thwap indeed. Very well, you may begin your cross examination. Mr. Yeah, Mr. Yana, my stomach, you see, it's it's hurting. Deal with it, punk. It's almost over. I think I think fall. You, you heard that thing fall? What exactly was that thing? Huh? Oh, oh, that, that, um, the glass, li the glass light stand. Right, the one that fell over the scene. Phoenix! Doesn't both that strike you as hard? Okay, very good. Yeah, that is odd. Push it further. Mr. White, 
Huh? Uh, what? You're saying that you saw the, the last light stand? Y yes Then change your testimony to reflect that. Sorry, my bad. The witness revised his testimony. Okay, 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 of course. A, li a light stand was lying on the floor when I looked. Mr. White? Why, Mr. White? Mr. White? Is it possible for you to have seen the, the light st stand? What? The stand broke into pieces when it fell. Oof! Despite seeing the broken pieces, you had, you had no idea it was a light stand. So tell me, exactly when was it you saw the, the stand? Answer the question! Isn't it obvious? I saw the stand before it fell over. So, you saw the stand before the victim was attacked then? Correct, that would be no, no, that would be no problem at all, right? Hmm. Big problem. Is it a big problem or I mean pro I mean problem here? What 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 what, pro what problem is that? Mr. White, right. let me make sure I have this straight. You saw the glass light stand through the window from the hotel? Before this has occurred. C correct, that, that that is so exclusive, definite and undeniable and impeachable. No, it's impossible. You could have seen the stand. What? He couldn't have. He couldn't. You have proof? I sure do, Your Honor. The person at the hotel cannot see the stand before it fell over. Look at this. These are the four plans to the scene of the murder, yes? These are the four plans to the scene of the murder, yes? Correct, Your Honor. Now look. If you're looking through the window at the office, this is the area, this is the area you'll be able to see. Well? Note that the stand is not within the visible area. Mm -hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you have to say about to that? Er, uh, er, uh, ridiculous, R ridic rid ridiculosity, Mr. Wright. If you're in the gateway hotel as you claim. Could I have seen the sand before it fell over? In fact, you wouldn't have been able to see it after it fell either. There was no way you could recognize the broken stars of a glass light stand. So when did you see the stand, Mr. 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 White? It must have been the moment it fell. The only place you could have seen that from is inside the Fay Law Offices. In other words, you would have seen the crime the murder took place. Ah, Super Saiyan Go! Mr. White? <sighs> Mr. Right? You did it, didn't you? Mr. Your Honor, I, I, Miss Mia? Yeah, it looks like we're about to get our verdict. Objection. That's far enough, Phoenix, right? What? Uh, I, f I forgot about Edgeworth! Mr. White. I think the time has come. Shouldn't you confess to your, your crime now? Hmm? 
What? What? I said you should confess to your crime. Ergo, confess that you placed the wiretap. The wiretap? Or, or, order? Mr. Redworth, explain to the court what you mean by this. The singlest members of the cap of the court. Mr. W Mr. White is. Mr. White is slightly confused. Allow me to explain, Governor. I really don't like the way this is headed. As you know, Mr. Mr. White is the CEO of Blue Corp. He ordered this secretary, Miss April May, to at the law office of Miss Faye. What does that have to do? What does that have to do? Y Your Honor. Governor. The question is, is when was the right hand placed at the office? And by who? No. You wouldn't. Governor, Mr. Governor, Mr. Mr. White. In order to place the wiretap, you entered the Miss, Miss Faye's office. Am I correct? Correct! You're almost correct, Miles. Give me a break. Yes, yes, I ought to replace the wiretap. I breached the failed kill law offices. That's when I saw that accursed light stand. No, I'm confused. Please explain to the court what all this means, Mr. Edgeworth. Gather, Aliana. Mr. Phoenix Wright has made his business quite, quite, quite clear. He determined that. Mr. 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 White knew the last dad was in the office, Governor. He has shown there's only one way, to, only one time Mr. White could have seen the stand. The very moment of the murder. Thus, Mr. Mr. White would like to believe that Mr. Mr. White was the murderer. I see. However, it is, Governor, it is a fact that Mr. Mr. White was in the office well before the murder took place. He went to place the wiretap. He has seen the it's because it looks like Sam then. Ergo. Mr. Phoenix Wright's t theory, Governor, is revealed for the baseless cotton character it is. Mr. Wart, you will testify to the court about this wiretap. Bling bling. Um. <laughs> leave, it to, leave it to me. Uh, I feel faint. This began in September, the week before the murder. I had entered the Fang Lookout Fang Cup to law offices. Of course, I had done so with the wiretap. That's when I saw this glass light stand. Hmm. So. So you told the white stand before the night of the incident, and this is how you were able to find what had fallen over by the sound. Bling bling. Correct. Correct. That is right. That is right. I see. I see. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine. Yeah. What am I supposed to do now? Good luck, Phoenix. The week before the murder. Do, do, do you have proof? Miss April, Miss Gun, Miss April Fan, and the details of the Miss Fay's conversation. This proves that the wiretap was placed before the murder. Huh? Right. Was it really you that went in the office? Was it Miss Was it Miss May? Gabna, Gabna, I identified fingerprints that several days old were found in the Finkel offices. Those were obviously Mr. White's. I know it's worth. Do I check on those prints? Now, 
Now, Mr. Wright, tell us why you're with the local offices. Why did you tap? Why did you tap? Tap? Tap me his phone. It says no bearing the current case, Your Honor. The corp is a detective agency of sorts. The responsibility to protect our protect clients' confidentiality. Why are you? Why do you know something? As inconspicuous as a light stand. The light stand was made entirely out of glass. It's quite stylish, so I guess it made a lasting impression on me. Such, 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 such beautiful things deserve attention, does it not? That's all. Damn it, there's nothing left for me to press him on. Oh well, maybe he's rattled enough that I can bluff something out of him. Tell me, I've run out of ammo. Just, 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 governor. I'm afraid so far as you go, Mr. Wright. Time has come for you to admit your defeat. You fought, you fought honorably. No more. I can't take this anymore. Mr. Wright, are you giving up? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yes, Your Honor. Phoenix? Hmm? Phoenix, over here! I, I know that voice. Mia? Never give up, Phoenix. Huh? M Mia? <laughs> Faint. <laughs> where, where am I? The waiting lobby? What, what happened? Alright. I, I lost the trial. I was hallucinating. Ah, oh, you're finally awake! Gak! <laughs> hey, Phoenix! Gak! Gak! That's the way to greet an old friend! Phoenix, I want you to look at me! Yeah, yeah. Maya? Didn't you know the Fae women have strong psychic powers? You accepted your defeat in court. It appeared that was enough to, of a shock to look in Maya's true powers. So Maya is so Maya is channeling you, Mia. That is right. I am Maya. I am also so Mia. Now I want you to listen to me, Phoenix. Maya never gave up. You can either. That's what I came here to tell you. But but but. We don't have we don't have much time, Phoenix. Now listen, you've already you've already won, huh? You have, you have that receipt in the court record, right? You, you have the receipt in the court record, right? Um. Oh yeah, when you wrote Maya on. Phoenix, White wrote that, not me. So I so. so so what do I do with it? Look at the front of the receipt. The front? It's a regular receipt. Like it's from a famous department store. A thousand dollars? Wow. Big spender. Item? Glass light stand. It approaches September 4th. 
September 4th. That's, that's right, Phoenix. I bought that light stand the day before I was killed. Whoa. Yeah, what did Mr. White say in his testimony? This began in September, the week before the murder. You saw the you saw the you see you saw the stand the week before the murder. There you go. I think the court is right with reconvene. You'll do, Phoenix. I know you're innocent. Now you just have to prove it. All right. September 19th, 1 16 p.m. The court for room number one. The court will now reconvene. The court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright. Is the defendant rather. Are you alright, Mr. Wright? <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, sorry, Your Honor. I'm fine now. Then let's start, start where, we, where we left off. Yeah, Anna Governor. There's nothing to go back to. Cross examination of Mr. Mr. White, Mr. White is finished. All that's required now is for you to pass judgment on the Mr. Phoenix Wright, Governor. Hmm. Your Honor, please give me one more chance. I promise you, this is the last time I'll ask you. Hmm. But as Mr. Edgeworth has noted, the trial is more or less finished. Mr. Edgeworth, do you have an opinion on this matter? Uh, I say, let us give Mr. Phoenix Wright his last chance. Very well. You may begin your cross examination. Closely at this. See the word Maya written in blood? Boah, you're grasping. I think not. Look at the other, look at your side at the receipt. The other side. Your Honor. Will you tell the courts from the other side of that receipt? Hmm. Well. A glass light stand. The day of the princess. Why? That's the day before the murder. Yeah. Huh? You see, Mr. Mr. White, you are allegedly injured the vehicle offices at the Vienna September. The stand could not have been there. Super Saiyan Blue. Well, Mr. White, can I get out of this one? Can ya? Yeah. No, it's impossible. Lots of people. Oh, he's losing it. Well, Your Honor, I understand there must be quite a bit of pressure on you. But I think you agree you can't judge me guilty under these circumstances. Hmm? Very well. Then... Uh, then the doll for the trial of Objection. that's so fast phoenix right er what no we can't remember around oh, this one uh wait i forgot it's edgeworth there's a certain thread of logic to the defendant's claims however there's no concern that Phoenix Wright is innocent. There we go. 
would like to request one more day before Phoenix Wright is granted his freedom. I need time to make, make one more inquiry into this matter. Hmm? Another inquiry? This is going to be another one of those updated autopsy reports. This guy just makes up the as he pleases. <coughs> this is bad. But the right guilt is obvious. There's no, there's no need to prolong this trial any further. Hmm. Well, Mr. Edgeworth. Ho ho ho. If it's gonna call if it's gonna call Mr. Wright to trial, Governor, it would be me, the prosecution. I need a day to certain whether your claims have any basis in factual evidence. Hmm. Oh, I see. Objection denied. What? The completion of the trial of Mr. Phoenix Wright will be postponed until tomorrow. No. There's no telling what will happen if I can't end this now. If there is. Etro was sure to come up with or just makes me not make, make up something. After Mia, sh after Mia showed up to help me at all. Bling bling! Mr. Yaana, may I go home? Of course, thank you for your time. Yeah. The, the witness will stay. Mia? Phoenix? You just said out loud? Yeah, what is this? Yeah, what is this? Wink! Let me see from Mia. Your Honor, if I may. You're quite persistent today, You're quite persistent today Mr. Wright. You bet I am. My life is on the right on this one. I said I'd like to read to the court. Mia yeah, gave me a list of names. Many of them sound strangely familiar. People in finance, famous celebrities. That's when it happened. Stop! Desist! Halt! Please stop! Make him stop! How, how, how did you get that list? Mr. Mr. White, I admit your guilt right here, right now, or else this list will be released to the press. I, I confess. I confess. I, I did it. I hit her. I hit Miss May with the thinker. Case close, Your Honor. <laughs> well, I see no reason to continue this trial. Mr. Wright? Yes, yes, Your Honor? You've done it again. That was quite a spirit of defense. Y yes, yes, Your Honor. I guess you could say that if only you knew how spirited it was. Hmm, well, it's quite fine to defense. Um, <clears throat> rather, the defendant, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Not guilty! Let the confetti rain down. The result, of course, adjourned. Sep September 9th, District Court, Event Lobby Number 1. Well, I have a thought I'd be saying this again. But congratulations, you're lucky I was born a fae. I'm lucky I, I had both you and Maya on my side. I'm glad you made it. Thank you, Phoenix. You risked a lot to help me and Maya. I'll, for, I'll forget it as long as I live. As long as you live. My time here is running out, huh? Maya's powers are so weak. I can't stay here that long. What? What? No. no. So what I want. So what I want to say. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll meet again. 
Chief? Chief? Hee <laughs> hee. I'm not the chief anymore. Phoenix? Can you come to the office tonight? Say, nine? The office? I'll see you later. I'll see you later. Ch chief! Mia! September 9.02pm. 9, Van Kill Offices. Being here is hard enough to think about that night. He came. Mia? I was kind of worried you might not. Huh? Of course I came. Well then. I'm pretty hungry! Have another burger! Mia? What are you talking? What are you talking about? It's me, Maya. Maya? What? Did I look like my sister? Look like you were her. Hmm. Hmm. I might be able to use that. Oh, Phoenix! Buy me the store. Buy me lunch, would you? Um. Maya, why are you here? Because of this! See? Mia wrote me a letter! Take care of Phoenix for me! Take care of, huh? See me at the office! See me at the office! This office! Someone's to help you. Someone has to help with the new do right go the offices, right? And you better than me! Maya Faye, reporting for duty! Wait, no, on second thought, let's make this casual! Yo, Nick! Yo, Nick! Maya here, ready to get down to business! You don't mind me calling you Nick, do you? It's a great name! Mia said that's what your, fr your friend Larry calls you! Nick? You know what this means? We're partners! You know when I think about it? It is my may, Maya's fault I'm here now, but if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be in jail. Ryan kill offices. This guy a good ring to it. Yeah. Thanks, Maya. Good luck, Phoenix. You're gonna need it. I'll always be here, here watching. Right, okay, Nick, let's do it. Huh? Do what? Burgers, dummy! Burgers! There's a great burger joint just down the street. Come on, time's a wasting. Okay, okay, wait up. The end. Ooh. Well, that was an exciting conclusion. Looks like Phoenix Wright got, got a new partner. And turn about Samurai to the next case. What will happen? What happen? What happen next? I don't know, but it's about to about to be. But what I do know is it's about time for a whole new world. A whole new world. What happened there? Stay tuned and find out. This is video 98 and enjoy the randomness because I will see you next time. Bye-bye.